As you have previously studied, automating skills is very useful, as it facilitates designing and concluding a drawing. But which objects are enabled for automating their skill display? The answer to this question is the subject of our class, to learn which objects are enabled for changing their skill factor settings. You can define different settings for skill factor display for most elements in a drawing. These objects can be hatches to display materials in parts or even dimensions and texts in tables and other displayed elements. You can define the scale factor settings for each of these elements. This facilitates the viewing of a specific scale factor for a given viewport. For text, you can create a textile using the display settings based on different skill factors. This style can be used on any other element which contains the text structure, for example, tables, dimensions, and among other items. The dimensioning task has really benefited from this excellent AutoCAD resource. Thanks to these display settings based on different skill factors, you can specify, for example, a specific dimension displayed only for a section or for all views in the drawing. However, you will discover it is not possible to display the annotative styles in all reference tables and files. But in case of reference files, you will learn some tips throughout this course to make it possible to apply the annotative style to them. You will also study how to define skill settings for different objects and enable this type of viewing. So in this class, you have studied some types of objects to enable viewing different automated skill factors.